Welcome to Gray Overload. I'm Anthony and let's back up. I'm going to review Backblaze today and how their backup services help me with my backup needs. Let's dive in. Backblaze was the backup solution that I chose after CrashPlan got rid of their home side. And I did a lot of research on it within like the couple days I wanted to start switching over because I wanted to get this done and over with as fast as possible. I didn't want something I knew was going to weigh to just sit there and while well, I tried to make a decision. So I tried their 15 day trial. I encourage you to use it if you're interested and, and you, or if you don't have a backup, try their 15 day trial. It's a great way to kind of see if this is going to fit your needs as well. But I was extremely impressed. I didn't even fully finish the 15 day trial and I had bought the uh, yearly service which is $50 a year for your personal um, computer. So I got the per my personal computer, 50 bucks a year. And then I started looking at their business side because I do a lot of consulting as well. And their business is 50 bucks per computer, unlimited storage as well. Per and then they also have this B2 cloud, which is, you know, supports NASs and servers. And it's like $5 a terabyte a month, which is also great. There's some other cost in there with downloading and up and adding storage, etc. But it's basically five bucks a terabyte a month. Great pricing as well. So go back to a little bit about um, this whole switch was, you know, crash plan, you know, there. And then I want to make sure that I have something that was working well. I was running into some issues with crash plan. There were some limitations with their software in Java. I was just not getting the upload speed that I needed. Um, I was using about 20% of my uplink um, on my connection. As soon as I switched over to Backblaze and it started uploading, Backblaze was at 100% of my connection for all like 15 or 13 days or whatever it was, that range in there of backing up. I was very impressed. I loved it. I was, I was so excited because um, finally I felt like I bought a service that was actually using the uh, bandwidth that I had and like when I up like I back up a lot of stuff and I don't want it to take forever to back up like especially photos or videos of the kids yeah um, my wife doesn't want to lose those and I don't want to lose them either because um, I'm responsible to make sure that everything does get backed up and that's one thing that was crucial to me but they have like a whole bunch of restore options you know they you can go download ones you can have a flash drive and that costs a little bit extra and then also you can do a full external drive which also costs extra you know backblaze there are they're improving their security always they just have two-factor authentication it's stored in like secure data centers with biometric security you know redundant power supplies and you know everything like that as well you can do personal encryption keys for additional security you know all your files are encrypted and sent and then they're stored encrypted you're also using natus navis software not java um a lot of security issues are with java you know there can be security issues also with native but at least they're working on making sure you know that their software they can update it and it's you know it's also going to be faster too or it can be um more reliable as well so like a lot of stuff you know it keeps multiple versions for 30 days which for me, for the most time, is good enough. And, you know, you can automatically schedule when your backups happen. Mine go automatically, but, you know, that's a nice configuration too. It, you know, you can be notified of your backup status if you want. I get mine, I think, once a week or something like that. But the big thing was the um, auto-throttling and threading. So you can have it just go off, use all your internet connection, just back up. And so mine's automatic all the time. So whenever the computer turns on, it just shoots everything off. It's great. It keeps everything that I need to backed up, backed up all the time. I've been very pleased with it. It's, this is just one computer that all the data is on, and I need that always backed up. But you can also set the limits. Let's say you're doing other stuff that needs um, your upload speed or whatever. You can set limits to how much is being uploaded or how much resources it's using for the threading side. Great options they have in the software software is super easy to use you know it gives you you know 
let you add where you want more stuff that you want to back up or you know exclude or include what you know what file types if you want to include and exclude those some more those are slightly more advanced options but for the most part if you just were to start it up it just start backing up stuff it works great that way as well um, and I recommend stuff for businesses as well as I um, do some consulting work and you, you know businesses the fifty dollars is great so that's just one really really nice thing to be able to do that as well then you also have that b2 cloud storage as i mentioned as well so if you have computers go go get the back blaze um computer backup if not if you got like a i have done some installing installations of synology nasas and i think this is a great option for them i've done some other backup options for that but I'm excited about this great price at five dollars per terabyte, and all your data is backed up. Especially if you're using your Synology drive for a whole bunch of storage of everything and keeping it for a long period of time. It's a great way to make sure, just in case something were to happen, you still have that all back up. So I've been, I, if you can't tell, I've been really impressed with this. I've been excited that I have a backup service that works just great I haven't had any issues with it um, I, I've had issues in the past where some uh, where backup service doesn't do what it's supposed to do and I've literally missed chunks of data of, of you know weeks where it wasn't backing up I have never had that I've actually gone in and checked to make sure files were there after so that it would have backed up everything I've I've done a lot of that and just kind of micromanaged it a little bit just to make sure that my data was there because like I said, I don't want to lose it. If I if I lose certain things, my wife will not be pleased. So I, I want to make sure that they're all backed up. But I would recommend Backblaze to businesses, users. Um, if you have a NAS to just take a look and see if this is going to fit right for you. Try that 15-day trial. I've been very impressed with it. Um, and that that's about it. I mean, definitely try it out. I've it, It's a great service. It works extremely well. So... Uh, with that, I do want to thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting this channel and helping it grow. I've been very exciting to watch as it continues to grow and help there. And also, if you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments below. I'll be sure to answer them, or even if they need a little bit more, I'll create a video on it as well. So with that, thank you for watching. Thanks for watching Gray Overload. If you like this content, be sure to subscribe.